big guy. Lose your caterpillar? Funny. I don't think we ought to be seen together. It'd blow my cover. What happened? You were supposed to call me back. I tried. The line was busy. Hospital was arranging a Who? trip. Yeah, never mind. Come here. I took a shot and got him to bake his pad. Lauren was on the money. I don't know how wacko this guy is, but I can tell you this big guy. He had pictures of that Denise all over his wall. Denise and Elspeth. Who? Never mind. But pictures all over the wall. And worse, come here. He had pictures of Lauren. Lots of them. You see any gloves? Gloves? What kind of gloves? Rubber gloves. Surgical, class one. 50 neoprene, 50 synthetic, made in Hong Kong. Go back to the phone and wait there. I'll call you in 10 minutes. Right. <gasps> Here for you. Come on now. This will do nicely. Here. You shouldn't have done this, Patty. I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. You deserve it. Is this a small anchor? <laughs> Open it! <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Simple, efficient. No, Patty. Truly sorry about Ellsworth. Couldn't help myself. Patty. Cheap, shoddy success. It came so unexpectedly. She accepted it so readily. Like she'd earned it. Patty. I earned that recognition. To be outdistanced by women. No. A woman banging executive. A woman writer who can't even spell Tennyson. No, no, no. A woman assistant director of the art center. We're all women. And you're about to get away? Leave me behind. <laughs> Tell me you have some virus. Came from the tip of an umbrella. Dr. Talbot is bringing in some sort of specialist, an Indian who knows how to take care of these things. Terrific. I do a dance around my bed and make rain. I can blame for the wet in the sheets. <laughs> He's not that kind of an Indian, but uh, the difference is gonna make you well. Sure. You know, Roe Blue was covered, don't you? Hmm? I've been laying here for a while. I got this idea. He, he could use that whole marriage number as a... as a... as a, a kind of cover. Cover? Why not? You tell the guys down at the precinct that he... that he was on the orders, that he had to make up some kind of story. So he'd go undercover on the Norman thing. That would explain why. Yeah, he never got to Jamaica, never got married, right? Here you are in a hospital, sick as hell with tubes running in and out of you, and you're worried about Earl Borden's reputation. He's my buddy. Yeah. What's the matter? Is something bothering you? No, oh, I always look 86 years old with bags under my eye. I wasn't sure. You are older than me. And you're shorter. Uh, 
I swear to big guy. We just connected. I'm not about to check out now. <laughs> 